well as you can see the nutrition is a very key aspect for the guys to learn and they as they're living together so i'm just doing a 30 minute sessions uh, where they can put quick food full of nutrition one pot dishes no fuss around and they get all the balance in their diet i'm actually looking forward to it and i'm, I'm sure when the guys will do it they will tell me some stories you know <laughs> what happened <laughs> what kind of accidents or how how, how good it turned out uh, so i'm definitely looking forward to it uh, we probably do a few more sessions throughout the pre-season uh, so that the guys can have more insight in it key principles are uh, keeping the food simple keeping the nutrition in keeping what the food should be um, and not adding any any ingredient that will um, take the values of nutrition value down basically and uh, keeping all the still tasty still really appealing uh, something like I'm doing a dish like today what we are doing is a is a salmon which is uh, in and wrapped in uh, in a foil with some thyme lemon and a bit of a Cajun seasoning and that's simple it's a foolproof dish that and a quick 15-20 minutes curry uh, where one pot curry where guys can make it knock it down quickly uh, even after a busy day schedule uh, generally just trying to make them more rounded individuals uh, the danger is a lot of them come out of school haven't had any real life experience they're exposed to professional training environment and they become a bit uh, one-dimensional in terms of it's all about rugby and then days off and, and chilling out um, and what we want to do is give them some focus on that on their time off that they're actually productive so be that doing some some coaching courses or getting some work experience but just the general day-to-day -day stuff if you've come out of school chance are you haven't you know dealt with house bills or, or anything you know, even gone shopping possibly so we make sure they prepare for those eventualities so that they, they know how to do those you know basic skills which are also then going to support them in terms of actually achieving their potential within the rugby environment because if they don't know what to shop for or what to cook best then it's going to distract from their their efforts to get a professional contract there's a lot of boys that have had a lot of things done for them in the past and um you know, don't really know what's going on when it comes to comes to the kitchen. But it's great to have someone like Abby to to teach us some new things and help us out in the evenings. You know, I think every lad in the house got ill last year at some stage during the season. Uh, but you know, new house, uh, new ideas from Abby. It can only get better. You know, in the, in the house last year we struggled a bit with the size and didn't always get our meals in. This year, you know, new new house, bigger house. Uh, you know, and Taps is helping us out with our with our meat order every month. So you know, it's really it's really going well. Tappers and Matt are, uh, are growing something here and, and this is all part and parcel of it. Uh, they're leaving us to do a lot of it on our own uh, and with Abby's help you know we can definitely do that. He, he's a good teacher uh, and I thought I was a good sous chef. Um, especially with all the spices and stuff we normally just stick it in a pan and you know let it cook. I can take orders from Abby but no one else in the house. <laughs> I'll normally kick off if anyone gives me something to do uh, but no I really enjoyed it and I'll happily be a sous chef again.